A judge could decide this week the fate of former Chief Deputy Christopher Radke. He confessed to misusing anti-racketeering funds totaling half a million dollars. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Stella Inger. Once second in command in the Pima County Sheriff's, Sheriff's Office, Radke violated the trust of the community. The FBI charged him with conspiracy to commit money laundering and theft, but he worked out a plea deal. Nine Your Side investigative reporter Valerie Cavazos joins us now with the latest on this FBI case. Now some call it a super sweetheart deal. To get that deal, Racky had to admit guilt, but only theft of a few thousand dollars. He did have to give up some information. He confessed how he did it, nameless superiors were involved, and the crime spanned more than 18 years. That's it. The question now, will the judge accept the agreement at his sentencing scheduled Friday morning? Former Chief Deputy Christopher Racky walked into federal court facing several felony charges, possibly 80 years in prison and one and a half million dollars in restitution. But the U.S. Attorney's Office in Utah reduced those charges to three misdemeanors of theft. No prison time, no restitution. I was taken aback and I said, there must be more to this story. This is Judge Rick Romley, the former Maricopa County attorney for nearly two decades, the prosecutor of the ass scam case in the 1990s, the largest public corruption scandal in Arizona. Romley believes Racky's plea agreement does not match the crime. Oh, it's a super sweetheart deal, but I, I you know what it is, Valerie? I just don't understand it. I, I do not understand why this deal was given. This, this is outrageous. I mean, I've seen people that have stolen you know, $500 from Circle K get prison sentences. You know, and here we're getting a law enforcement official, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Racky said he was just following orders from his superiors. The U.S. Attorney's announcement on the plea deal makes no mention of a probe into the conspiracy, into the superiors involved, and nothing in the agreement requires Racky's cooperation. What happened to the conspiracy charge? Where are these other people and why aren't they being held accountable? Pima County Sheriff's Union leader, Sergeant Kevin Kabitsky, is one of the first whistleblowers to come forward to the FBI. Why would you offer a plea without getting something in return? It's almost never happened. Romley and other attorneys who've weighed in over the past few months agree. Quite frankly, it's outrageous. He's even keeping his state pension, and that's just wrong. I reached out to U.S. Attorney John Huber, but was told he won't talk about the case until after Radke's sentencing. That date pushed from April to May. It was told to me that it's because there's a lot to this case and the judge wants to be extremely well-versed. I think that all of law enforcement should be held to a higher standard. And I think that the day you begin to misuse the power that's been entrusted with you is the day you're going to lose it. It will be very hard to regain that trust. That burden now falls on the new sheriff's lap. Even though you have a different sheriff, they're, they're wondering, have we really gotten to the bottom of it? Romley says Mark Napier should call for outside entities to look into the 18 years of money laundering. I would first of all ask the state auditor general to come in and do an audit of the RICO account. They have the authority to do that just because you've had a federal charge brought doesn't mean that a state charge can't be brought. And I'd ask the Arizona Attorney General to investigate. I think I'd like to see what happens on Friday first and, and take care of that, take that off the table. Sheriff Napier says a rejection of the plea agreement could change the course of the federal case. And in the strongest terms possible, I hope that the judge does not accept the plea agreement, rejects it summarily. Um, it is a bad agreement, it's in the bad interest of this county, and I hope that the judge rejects that. I'm told the judge has received letters from whistleblowers and community members asking him to reject the deal. Meantime, the Pima County Attorney's Office, which administers the RICO funds, has put new procedures in place to prevent future fraud. The office is now asking for receipts of all expenditures. Our investigation into the FBI case continues, including the outcome of Racky's sentencing scheduled Friday morning. Back to you. Valerie.